Tucson Sports Director Paul Cicala has more from McHale Center. It was a matchup of two of the top teams in the Pac-12. Arizona came in with a 6-1 record. Well, Colorado also had six wins and one loss coming in with a combined record between the two teams of 12 wins and just two losses. But something would have to give at McHale Center as Arizona was gunning for its 10th victory in a row against Colorado at home here in Tucson. But with COVID-19 and no fans in the stands, well, there wasn't much of a home court advantage. And here's a look at the McHale Center fans in the stands, the cutout version of them, as the Wildcats hosted Colorado. And right off the bat, check out Jamaro Baker behind the backboard. Oh yeah, the Wildcats jump ahead early, but the Pac-12 Player of the Week, McKinley Wright the fourth, will put Colorado back up. Then Arizona goes on a run. Christian Coloco is getting straight local. That's one dunk, and how about another? The Wildcats take a 17-14 lead after the man, Coloco, getting hot. And after that, off the rebound, James Ajinko pushes it up and he will find Coloco running the court once again. The Wildcats take a three-point lead. And then Akinjo begins to heat up straight caliente. The jumper puts Arizona up 37-32. And after that, Baker will find Osulis Tebulis and, and the foul. And how about the ending of the first half? Off the Colorado misc, Akinjo says, I'm not going to pass it to anyone. Oh, yeah, he wants the last shot, and he will bust the three. Yes, sirree. Arizona ends the half on an 8-0 run after the buzzer beater. Akinjo busted out for 22 points on the night, along with eight assists. Arizona wins big, 88-74. to Hey, next up for Coach Sean Miller and the Arizona Wildcats, a New Year's Eve game in Washington in Seattle against the Huskies and of course the Arizona Wildcats won't be right back here at McHale Center again until January 7th when they take on USC and as for coach Adia Barnes and the sixth ranked Arizona women's basketball team they will be back again playing right here at McHale Center on New Year's Day January 1st against number one ranked Stanford. We've got you covered from the campus of the University of Arizona. Paul C. Kala, News 4.